Good morning, everyone. I am out at the Genesee Country Village Museum in the Foster Tufts house for preparing for the holidays. Today, we are going to be talking about winter wear, uh, the layers that you would wear to stay warm. I'll, of course, be focusing on winter hoods for the weekend. I brought several, several <laughs> different versions to share with folks. Now we're gonna try with this fancy new camera of mine to flip. Hey, check it out, I can finally flip my camera. All right, so we have an assortment of goods here. Over here on the left, I brought an assortment of hoods. On the right, we have an assortment of outerwear. And I am wearing a variety of layers to talk about. So here we have that lappet style hood that I love so much in silk and in wool. I have originals in both materials. Interestingly enough, both versions that I have, the silk and the wool, have green exteriors with pink interiors. I have to say this is a favorite hood for when it's windy or when there's a lot of precipitation, especially freezing rain. That wool version on the right is the one that I was wearing when I ended up in a freak storm here one day uh, when I was leaving the building. Walked outside and suddenly the, the sky just opened right up, but that hood protected my face so well. Over here on the left, <laughs> I have a very Clara covered version of the Princess Capote. This is an incredibly easy hood to put together. It drapes over the head and shoulders and is good for, for getting from here to there. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as a working hood, but definitely more of a leisurely hood. Incredibly easy to put together. This black version here is not one that I have a pattern for, but it is one of my absolute favorite hoods. This is copied from a hood that I got from England. And what I love about it is inside, there's an entire system of draw strings, basically, that cinch that hood down around your head. Love it. In the back, we have two uh, pumpkin hoods, wadded hoods. The one on the left is the one that I was working on back in 2019, just before we had the pandemic. And that was worked on for a couple events here at the museum. So I thought it was appropriate to bring. The one on the right is my scrap hood. That was actually made out of scraps that someone sent me. It's all pieced together. Very proud of how that came together. Violet here is wearing the doll scale version of the Princess Capote, and that's actually what I'm gonna be working on this weekend. I brought two to work on, one in kind of like a tan and one white. Now this hood here is a copy of one in the green collection. This is a pattern that the museum has. Bev and Lynn put that together. And Danny, who will be the interpreter this weekend with me, is going to be working on creating one of those. All right, for our outerwear, this is, uh, let's see, we'll start over here on the right with shawls. Two woven shawls here and here. I do not know if those were woven in-house. I can check for you. And then we have a simple scarf, mitts, mittens, and hat. That'll be easy for the kids to identify and relate to. I have my, <laughs> well, loosely draped, I think I'm gonna turn that around, um, coat. I love this coat. I can tell you Ms. Clara also loves this coat. You will see that I have a pair of mitts, actually wrist warmers there, and wrist warmers over here, because yes, my wrists get chilly. But I have to say, it's really quite comfy right now. Um, the drive over it was 32 degrees. I think it's going to be in the upper 40s today at the museum. Perfect weather for people to come out and walk around. Hoping to see a lot of faces that I recognize. And I hope everybody has a really good day. So that's a quick look. I'll let you all go. Enjoy your weekend.